So I'm actually going to start this video by saying I am not a big fan of test and reviews of clubs like these within the YouTube space right now. And the reason for that is that there's a lot of technical terms just thrown about to all of the new kind of tech or design features in these clubs. It's just kind of thrown down the, down the camera and assumed that you're going to know exactly what they're talking about and exactly what that actually means, what that actually does and whether or not it would actually benefit you. Well, in today's video, I'm going to try and change that. So welcome back to Elite Performance Golf Studios. And as you already know, today is a test head-to-head -head test of the brand new P770 against the older model P770. And as I said in the intro, there's going to be a few chunks throughout this video that's going to be touching on the tech of this new P770, what they've added and supposedly what that should do. And then as always, we're putting them head-to-head -head on quad, looking at the data, like can we quantify any differences? Can we see any differences in between these two different models? Any ball speed, any launch, any spin, any forgiveness, anything that makes it a better club. And we'll be touching on looks, sound, feel, all those kind of things as well, as always. So let's do it. So yes, we are showing you the numbers first. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> Switching it up a little bit. Um, so yeah, new versus old. 50 shots in total I hit, 25-ish with both. Didn't delete any. And I wasn't having my best ball striking day, so this is a good, fair test of these irons, I feel. So looking at the data, the one thing that stands out straight away is that spin. There's one thing that did always kind of get me about the, the 770. In my opinion, it was slightly on the lower spin side, but this new one with that CG change definitely has made a difference in terms of the spin rates that we were seeing. I consistently got into the 6,000s with the new one, whereas I think there was only a couple with the old 770, I managed to get into 7,000s. It's the same shaft, same ball, same time, same conditions, everything. It was very, very consistently higher spin, the new model. So up into the 6,000s, so especially, so I, mean, I launch it on the lower side anyway. I mean, I get away with it because I've got quite a lot of speed, but if you, if you generally tend to launch it on the lower side and you didn't have as much speed, you're definitely going to want more of that spin, which is great. So that's going to be a really good, a good addition, I feel, for a lot of people. Um, didn't see too much difference in the launch. I mean, the new one did launch a little bit lower, but it was quite marginal. But that spin is a really, really good difference. I really like that. I mean, I did see a little bit more ball, ball speed from the old model. I do, that, that was definitely a little bit more me, if I'm honest. Like, I, I just, I hit a few better shots, I think, with the old one. I don't really think I can attribute that to anything. But at the same time, I don't think there's any difference in these heads in ball speed whatsoever. On the good ones, saw so 132, 133 with both. Don't feel there's any difference in ball speed. Um, launch and spin we've touched on. And then again, carry. I mean, I saw four extra yards of carry with the old model. So that's obviously going to be a little bit more ball speed because I hit it a bit better paired with that little bit of lower spin. Obviously, lower spin is going to create more distance. So I did see a little bit more ball speed. In terms of consistency, I mean, actually really surprised to see the standard deviation in the spin tighter with the with the new model so therefore that's really saying that the spin was more consistent closer to the average more consistently with the new one versus the old one whereas i felt i hit the old one better or more consistently so that again is another good a good a good point there to be honest really good launch similar ball speed a little bit more consistent with the old one which i'd expect to see but it's only 0.4 of a mile an hour so yeah i mean on the whole there i think that's some really really nice improvements to be honest i mean as you will see, if you stay tuned, we'll touch on looks, feel. Uh, I'll show you some shots. We'll touch on all the tech if you stay tuned for that bit. But in terms of the actual ball flight data, I personally think that's, that's quite a nice little update. I mean, a lot of people might moan about the distance and the, uh, the kind of ball speed. Yeah, you're not really gaining any ball speed, but it's the same loft iron, regardless of slight tech changes. The same loft, generally speaking, is going to be a fairly similar kind of ball speed. You can't really expect much more if I'm honest and, and that there won't probably be in the future if I'm honest but I think there's some really nice changes so just to quickly show you from a club delivery perspective how I swung these just so it's you know gives you a, a nice fair reflection of how I swung the club uh, club head speed with both was exactly the same delivered loft with both was within 0.3 of a degree um, the path was 
within 0.4 of a degree, the face was exactly the same and the angle of attack was basically exactly the same. So really, like from a human perspective, I could not have swung those clubs any closer to get the results that, that I did. So it's a really, again, a good, fair reflection of those clubs. Uh, the new one it's showing that I did hit it a little bit more toey. I would agree with that, to be honest, inconsistently, whether that's something to do with the CG being slightly more toe side, maybe tracking that a little bit, but there was definitely something that I felt I hit it slightly toeier with the new one, which is probably why I saw slightly less ball speed and slightly less efficiency, as we can see there. But yeah, apart from that, really happy with how I delivered that. So it's a really good reflection of how these clubs perform head to head. Right, so yes, you've already seen the numbers, and as you know, I hit 25 shots with each. So anyone who does want to see, I'm now going to show you a few with each. Just so you can see the ball flight, the numbers after each, the strikes, whatever. Obviously only a few shots, but starting off with the old P770, obviously the shaft's going to be kept exactly the same. I'm just putting it from one into the other. As we already know, the heads are the same lofts, so nothing's changed in there. So yeah, let's get hitting. That's a pretty decent strike. Yeah, very nice. Take that. Yeah, good. Felt nice. That one could go miles. Flush that and turned it a little bit too. Still be very happy with that, of course. Yeah, 133 ball speed. That is quick. Still 12 yards offline. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, again, felt good. Be very happy with that one. Again, one, three, two, ball speed. It's quick. 16 launch, 6,000 spin. Also not bad. Don't hate it at all. Right, new 770. Right, so the first big bit of new technology that they're saying has been incorporated into these P770s is flighted CG. Now, if you haven't watched my Wish on 585 PC video, uh, go take a look at that. Very similar concept to what has been incorporated into those irons. Obviously, it's a very different head design to the Wishons, but similar concept. So what is flighted CG? So CG, center of gravity, or essentially how I like to think about it, just where the mass is kind of positioned more in the head, right? So let's start with the longer irons. So three, four, five iron, that's gonna have the, the mass positioned lower down in the head. Now, what is that gonna do? Well, that is going to help increase launch angle. And the reason for that is because when we're striking an iron, kind of third to fourth groove-ish, it's obviously the impact is going to create the club to do that. So you know, the harder I was to push there, obviously the more the club wants to do that, right? So if we can drag as much mass as we can down low, then that's gonna help prevent that from happening. Therefore, the less that happens, the more loft it's going to retain, therefore more launch. And then as we get up through the shorter irons, they're gonna move that CG higher up in the face. Now, what's that gonna do? Same kind of thing, right? So if I'm really impacting this part of the head, if we've moved more of the mass up high, it's actually gonna create more of that effect, right? So why is that a good thing in the short irons? Well, A, we don't necessarily need the help with the launch like we would in the longer irons. We've got plenty of loft to help us do that. Actually, if anything, we want to create a bit more of a penetrating ball flight with higher spin. So that is exactly what that's going to do, moving the CG higher up, higher up in the head. It's going to create more of that downward deflection, obviously taking off a little bit more loft through strike, which creates that penetrating ball flight. And there's a thing called gear effect, which if you don't know, essentially, as the face is doing that, the ball almost goes like this, like my finger like it's gonna roll up the face almost a little bit. So it's gonna create lower launch and higher backspin, which is great for increasing control with those shorter irons. So that is flighted CG.
All right, so before I show you a few shots with the new 770e, I'm just going to touch on looks quickly while I've got them both here. I mean, from the back, you can kind of make up your own mind, really, in terms of whether or not you think that, uh, that it's, it's, a, it's an improvement. I mean, I've put, put a picture with the new one up now, obviously. Compared to the old one, it's quite a change, just in terms of the finish. The shape looks pretty much the same, looking from the back. Obviously, you've got the satin finish with that kind of chrome tow bar now, um, where the old one was completely, pretty much chrome all the way through. Um, me, personally, I mean, I see a lot of people saying that they prefer the look of the old one, but I think it's a little bit, little bit of a curse of the pictures of new clubs. Generally speaking, I'm the same. You see a photo, you think, oh, I don't know about that. See it in person, and it looks much more premium. Like, the finish is very nice on this. So, personally, I actually do prefer the look of the new one. It's just a bit more modern, a bit more sleek. So, yeah, I do prefer it. I really I cannot see any difference in the size of these heads. I mean, if we pop them down by the board and I'll show you that, that visual. I mean, I just, yeah. Uh, I haven't looked if there actually is any blade length difference or offset difference or top line difference or anything like that, technically speaking. But from a purely human eye perspective, I cannot see any difference. I mean, the lighting in here is obviously a bit, a bit dodgy. It maybe looks like the new one's got slightly less offset, like marginally. Top line, I cannot see a difference. Blade length, I cannot see a difference. I mean, no, Look, looking down at the ball, obviously you can notice the, the finish difference and the new one's a bit more satin um, in the toe and the heel, uh, not chrome. But apart from that size, to me, size and shape of these clubs looks, I can't really tell them apart if I'm honest. Pretty good one to start with. I think it was slightly toey, to be honest. Yeah, it was a little toey. Therefore, we see a drop off, right? I mean, it still retained ball speed reasonably well, 128 ball speed, whereas we'll see my good ones be 120, 132, 133, sorry. Um, and then typically, I don't even know what my good carries have been. I think around 190, something like that, I think. But 185, it's pretty good. Actually, my good carry with the old model on a straight one was about 192. I think I had a 196 carry that was a little bit of a draw. But a really straight one was about 192. It was, it was well struck. Just hitting it toey. Again, it was just toey. Go! Hmm. Again, still good though, we consistent stride pattern. I'll show you a good one in a minute to see what that carry is. But again, that, they were both towing 185, 187 carry. So for good ones like 190, 192, that's a pretty decent drop off to be fair. Right, so the next bit of tweaked tech, I guess I should say, is the Speed Foam Air. So obviously the old model had Speed Foam, this new model, Speed Foam Air, which is the same as the current P790 as well. And it's, it's just lighter, as the name would suggest. It's 69% less dense than the old model, so it's just saving weight, you know, and that's a massive part of all club design now, really. They're all trying to save weight somewhere, which is then going to give them more mass to redistribute wherever they want to. You know, so in a driver, you could stick it more in the heel, make it more draw bias, more in the toe, make it more fade bias. In this P770, obviously with the flighted CG, that's now given them more mass to redistribute kind of high and low and maybe slightly toe side as well for that forgiveness. So it just means that the more weight they can move, the more of a difference it can actually make. I mean, how much difference will that make against the old model? We'll see. I'd also try and get some, some long irons and short irons as well to see if there's any difference between those. Um, as a guess, it would be reasonably marginal. It's not gonna be a massive amount of weight, but it's, you know, it's fine tuning. It's what it is realistically nowadays. It's fine tuning these clubs. Um, and the other thing, speed foam, is just a dampening tool, really, because this is a hollow body design, which allows them to do all this kind of tech, the inverted cone technology, which we'll touch on, the speed foam, the kind of uh, speed slot, all those kind of things. You know, it, it, it's a hollow body construction. So the speed foam, just gives it like a, a dampening effect, makes it feel and sound nicer, closer to that kind of one piece forged feel. It doesn't feel quite that good, but that's what they're trying to achieve. So it's obviously serving multiple purposes within this head, but you know, it's another nice little tweak bit of tech that hopefully is helping make this club slightly better. That one felt good. 
That was at the middle. 190, yep. 131 ball speed. <laughs> so the good thing about this is you've already seen the numbers at the end. Right now, I haven't. So I'm actually really intrigued to see them. <laughs> Felt pretty good. That was middled. Go in the hole. Got the best shot of it all day, to be fair. And then we go one, three, three ball speed. Saw that with the old one. One, three, two and a half. Something launch, six thousand spin. Oh, can't wait to see these numbers. Right, so not new tech, but I'll touch on it very briefly. The uh, the through slot speed pocket, as TaylorMade like to call it, <laughs> or that black line. Obviously been used for many generations now of tailor-made irons and it's just designed to kind of help increase face flexion overall, but especially kind of down low. So if you imagine re really taking a bit of the construction of that head out, just almost makes it a bit softer, right? It's just gonna increase that face flexion very slightly, especially down low. And they're gonna say, obviously, it's gonna help forgiveness, retain ball speed, all those kind of things. Um, how much would it actually matter against a, a, an iron that doesn't have that? Don't know. Not sure. <laughs> I think you'd really need to uh, hit a lot of shots and you probably need a robot realistically and hit a lot of shots to try and quantify exactly how much difference that would make against the club that doesn't have it, but it's there. It's a good bit of tech um, in theory. Uh, and then that kind of inverted comb technology that again, Taylor may have had around for quite some time, which they're kind of saying, I think they've changed it to kind of intelligent sweet spot now. Um, sounds a bit better, I think, from a marketing perspective. But really, it's just kind of variable face thickness for the most part, which a lot of kind of other companies, especially in drivers now, are introducing. So it's really making the face thinner in the areas that you're more likely to hit it. And they're saying that's also kind of progressive up and down the face now with the kind of flighted CG as well. But really, it's just making the face slightly thinner in areas that you're more likely to hit it. And they're increasing that COR or coefficient of restitution, kind of springiness a little bit, uh, and therefore giving you a better feel out the middle and faster ball speeds as well. Um, same as the through slot, really. I mean, can you quantify how much that works? I can't. I think other people may be able to, if you have the tech, if you have robots, if you have new and old models, you have different kind of design heads of different materials, possibly it would be quite hard. But again, you know, it sounds like a really good bit of tech and I'm sure it helps in some way. Right, so let's touch briefly on feel. I'm just gonna hit a couple of shots back to back for you just so I can describe what I'm feeling and if there is any feel difference. Obviously, I'm doing this straight after I've just done the hitting for the performance part of the test. So I know I only showed you four, but if you look up here, shot 52, so I hit 51 shots in that performance part. So about 25 with each. And then, yeah, this is straight after I've just finished that. And to be honest, from hitting back to back, 25 shots with each. <sighs> Anything I did notice is I really do think there's a little bit more offset on the older model. So a little bit less offset on the newer model, which I noticed when I went back to the older model again. Because um, I flicked between the, the two a couple of times in that, in that test. But I mean, it's, yeah, it's hard to really... That just, it feels, that feels really good. That was the old one. I mean, it's a great shot. Yeah. So that was the old 770. But again, realistically, there's not a huge difference in terms of the, uh, the design of these clubs. Obviously, minor tech tweaks as, we, as we've spoken about throughout the video. Um, in terms of the, the flighted CG and the, the kind of slightly lighter speed foam and, and things like that. But yeah, I mean, they're a pretty similar design. So realistically, I wouldn't expect there to be a massive field difference, to be honest. I mean, I don't know if you'd want there to be, because the old one feels pretty damn good. Uh, let's give this a quick hit and see what we think. No, I mean, I, I, I really cannot say. I didn't hit that quite as well, that one, to be honest with you. Have the ball back, bouncy screen. Didn't hit that one quite as well, to be completely honest with you, but feel very, very similar, to be honest. I think, again, I still haven't seen the numbers. You have, but I definitely struggled with the newer P770 more. I don't, <sighs> that club thing, I mean, 
I would normally say no, but I felt it was quite consistent that I struggled with this one. That's just way left, but I mean, it's, yeah, from a feel perspective, I can't feel any difference if I'm honest. Also, Taylor made a saying uh, the longer irons in the new 770s are kind of a bit more better player inspired, so like shorter blade lengths, less offset, all those kind of things, which I'm sure some people will love, some people probably won't, depends how confident you are with your long irons. If you are a confident long iron player, you can keep the 770s. If you're not, you could look to combo with 790s. Yeah, there's lots of different variables, but that's just another, another kind of element of the new 770s that they're saying they have changed. Right then, summarize for all you people who probably skipped to the uh, summary as well. New 770 versus old 770. Yeah, I think, you know, a really good little upgrade from a numbers perspective. Um, from a looks perspective, I'll let you make your own mind up. Personally, I did prefer the new one down by the ball, slightly less offset, preferred the slightly satin finish. And actually just as a club as well, I do think the new one looks a little bit more modern, a little bit more sleek. Um, as I said earlier, pitchers don't always do clubs justice, so go and have a look at them in the flesh because it is quite a, a nice premium finish. So I do prefer the new one. Sound and feel, I couldn't, I couldn't yeah, tell any difference if I'm, if I'm completely honest. Sounded the same, felt pretty much the same. But it's still a very similar design iron, so what do you expect? Same with the ball speed, I don't think either quicker or slower, to be honest. Again, wouldn't expect much difference. Still a very similar design of head overall. Um, but yeah, from a numbers perspective, we did definitely see slightly lower launch and slightly more backspin from the new 770. So for me, that's a really nice upgrade. Again, that's going to be that CG position for the most part, changing those launch conditions, which I think is positive from this type of iron. You know, so we may be losing distance effectively because we're, you know, we're, we're increasing the spin rate, which generally loses a bit of distance, but increases control, which is exactly what we want from a player's club. I mean, it's not game improvement iron, it's not distance iron, it's a better player's iron for control. So from my perspective, that's a very good change, um, you know, and a, and a good job well done, you know. A lot of people might disagree that there's not that much difference there from a distance perspective, there's not. From a looks and feel and sound perspective, maybe there's not. But again, we're talking marginal tweaks nowadays. They're really fine tuning these irons to perform better in the category that they are suited for. And that's exactly what they've done. So. Yeah, pretty good job. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned because I will still be having more head-to-heads. Uh, probably do the old versus new MC. Got the MB coming. Loads of other stuff. TSR 2 Plus. I got into a little review on that as well. Um, so yeah, subscribe. Stay tuned. And I'll see you in the next one.